This might be the best thing I've seen on the internet for months. I'd really appreciate more content like this. If you know of any videos with girls saying I love you to the camera and not to the side and in a way that is believable, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> and we just started this video. Oh no, I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> Stay positive. Everything's going to be okay. And yeah, let's get into this video. <laughs> Welcome back guys, hope you're doing amazing And I hope you're ready for some more sad cringe I've been thinking about it And I think the sad cringe videos are the hardest ones to make <laughs> You know, like they're just always so heavy And I'm like, oh my god <laughs> We need wholesome memes right now And we've only just started But with that being said, they may be really hard to make <laughs> But they are also a whole bunch of fun so yeah, <laughs> I hope you're ready for this guys and I hope you enjoy Top reviews on Amazon from the United States My wife wore it for the man she was cheating with He seemed to like it Um, <laughs> okay It appears that this item was purchased either just before or just after my wife and her new man Declared their relationship to the people on Facebook I can only assume the introduction of this snap crotch teddy really helped them to move forward. Any piece of clothing with that kind of power is worth purchasing. 1,487 people found this helpful. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, this is like a famous sad cringe review. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Women in the metal scene don't like me and won't even speak to me. All I wanted was some dates, but I guess they only get with guys in black craft hoodies and vocalists that go, bleh, what a shame. All that foo far narrative about them being a minority in the metal scene. It's all so untrue. We all know what's going on behind the scenes here. Maybe I have to sell at least 30 local tickets in order to have a decent conversation. Sorry that life handed me literally nothing on a silver platter. I despise being treated like a poser. Thanks. Yeah, like the top comment says, here's a thought, wear a black craft hoodie and go blur. <laughs> Works every time. Me, a 29 year old virgin with no friends, my love, affection and feelings. What is this? Tell me what you see here. All women. I see nothing. And the title says, starts crying, how can you not see it? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what to say because I don't know, you know, like there's no context here whatsoever. Like we're only going off this meme, but obviously it's way more complicated than just this. So yeah, I hope everything's okay <laughs> or going to be okay. Man pays to get cheated on. Wait, so this must be something that they're into surely hiring a man to test my girlfriend's loyalty one thousand dollars i'm looking for a good looking guy to test my girlfriend's loyalty while she's on a girl's night this saturday applicant needs to be six foot plus 21 to 40 years old knowing how to country dance is preferred a picture of you will be required yeah i know this is crazy but i pay well and it's for a good call $100 just to show up to a bar in Dallas and try. We'll also pay bar tab up to $50. Bonus extra, $50 if she does a shot with you. $100 to get her to dance. $200 to get her to kiss you on the 
cheek, 200 to sit on your lap, 500 if she kisses you on the lips, 500 if you get her phone number, 1,000 if you take her home or back to hers. We'll need proof of each of these things to collect payment. Either you or a third party can take pictures or record. Wow, yeah, what is going on here? Like, I know it's literally none of my business, <laughs> but it's so interesting. Three stars, pain. I got these for my wife for Valentine's Day, but she left me before I could even give them to her. Now they just sit in my car as a reminder. Oh. <laughs> I don't like how good of a job that did at making me feel sad. <laughs> like, that's so descriptive in a non-descriptive way. And I hope everything's gonna be okay, buddy. An answer to what's the most beautiful fact that you know? Women exist. Women are the most perfect and beautiful beings of all creation. Even when they ignore my feelings, I still think they're wonderful. Take a nap. <laughs> you know when people say touch grass? Surely this is like a new equivalent of that. But yeah, why did you feel like you needed to comment this on that? Like they wanted to know what facts that people know that are beautiful. You know, you talking about how women ignore your feelings, but you still think that they're wonderful. Doesn't really belong here, does it? I booked a nice dinner for 7.30 p.m. for my birthday, and I told all of my friends about the plans months and weeks in advance. I gave plenty of time to schedule off work or take off work. I offered to pay for people on my birthday who couldn't afford to come. I made sure that everybody had the menu and the time and all of that. I sat for 25 minutes at the table getting excuses via text message about why people weren't coming or would be 45 minutes or an hour late. No one showed up. I calmly asked for the manager and I cancelled the reservation and I left at 7.55. I see friendship is no longer reciprocated in this generation and all I can say is I'm over it. Yeah, okay, but why did nobody show up? This one is really confusing because on one hand, you know, like, yeah, they're really crappy friends, but also, like the top comment says, I wonder if this is a reflection on how bad his friends are or how bad his friends think that he is. Yeah, but then if you're not friends with somebody, why would you say that you would go to their birthday? Like, maybe they just don't really know the people that much, you know? Like, and they're not actually very good friends or barely friends at all. And maybe they think that they're friends, but the other people don't really see it that way. It makes you feel like such an ass, but you do sort of have to question why everybody didn't show up. But yeah, that's definitely sad cringe, and I'm sorry, and I hope you're okay. And also, did this happen to Nelson on The Simpsons? Sorry, I just realized that. I'm terrified of women. I've never even been close to a woman. I'm scared of them and how they'll judge me and what they want. I feel like they're too powerful in society and they pretty much decide whose genes live or die. They seem so cruel to me. I guess this terror manifests into anger and hate, but it's just hard to communicate with them or take their word. I just don't think that they like me no matter what. Why would they? They can hop on a dating app and find someone better. There's no incentive to talk to me. To them, I'm worthless. I'm at best a wallet and at worst a creep. They hate me and I can feel it sometimes. Or they think little of me, like I'm not equal or even a person worth seeing. Yeah, okay, that one was sad and this person definitely needs to talk to somebody about this. But you know what we need right now? <laughs> Something a lot more wholesome than this. That's definitely enough sad cringe for one one day when you get an appreciation text from a friend in the middle of the night. Oh, <laughs> friends are so beautiful. And also waking up to a nice message is the best feeling ever. That one friend that goes above and beyond to make you smile on a bad day. Thank you. I will never forget this. I would fight for you. <laughs> you have a best friend in me for life. And that's my proposal. Greg, that's a genius. Genius. Inspired. 
falls, they don't realize that my genius plan is actually just the result of hard work. <laughs> I fooled you. I'm not a genius. I just work hard. Okay, and now we can end the video on a happy note. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know we talked about it before this video even started, but this was a wild ride. You know, like I would say that I didn't expect it to be so scary and hard to film, but I actually did. I don't think I could ever get used to it. You know, like that's a different story. But yeah, that was fun and definitely a roller coaster ride of emotions. The comment of the day today goes to Audrey. Day one of asking Vincey for a Simpsons clip of the day. Oh my God, that's such a good idea. Um, a good Simpsons clip. Probably when Homer goes to talk to Mr. Burns and he's like, sorry, Mr. Burns, I don't go in for these backdoor shenanigans. Sorry, Mr. Burns, but I don't go in for these backdoor shenanigans. Sure, I'm flattered, maybe even a little curious. But the answer is no. I like that Simpsons episode. Imagine if we started doing a Simpsons clip at the end of every video. Like they'd have to sponsor me, surely. But yeah, thank you for that comment. I really appreciate it. That's a good idea. And thank you all so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.